Uh, yes, Coach. Uh, to be able to battle back, you know, after being down 20 points at one point in the first half, to cut it to two points with, you know, the season on the line, just what does that say about your team? Well, you know, I'm really proud of them because we really competed. And, you know, it, it's, you know, you have to come out and compete every night. You know, we did that. But, you know, what's more important is given the circumstance to down 20, it, the easiest thing to do is to not compete and to, you know, just stop playing hard. And we didn't do that. You know, we talked at halftime about the fact that, you know, we're much better than what we just showed. And, you know, the first five minutes was the most important in the second half to get back in the game. And we came out, really played hard, competed, created some turnovers, and got out and transitioned a little bit. And that, that kind of turned things around for us. So, you know, I'm happy for our players that um, this is a game they, I think, maybe found some confidence and found the resilience that we're asking of them uh, to believe in what they're doing. And, you know, I, I, I just give our players a lot of credit. They just decided they were going to do everything they could as a team to make the outcome different in the second half. We didn't like the first half, and we decided to change it, and that's what we did. So, um, you know, Vegas is a very, very good basketball team. And to do what we did down 20, you know, I'm proud of our guys. You know, we're not happy about losing. You know, it hurts losing, particularly given the, the, the comeback. But, um, you know, we competed, and we had people playing together. Like, the feeling of playing as a team was palpable, and that's important. That's something we've been striving for. You know, we've had some difficulty, you know, losing games, and it's really hard to kind of stay the course. But today we did. And, you know, I'm proud of our, our players. And it seems like you, you got you're, you're able to get uh, contributions from a lot of different players, but uh, specifically Kelsey and Julie. Uh, it seemed like Kelsey's defense was able to turn into offense, and then obviously Julie shooting the way she 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 was able to do today. Just uh, speak about their performances. Yeah, I mean, I was just happy to see Julie taking shots that have been there all along. You know, she's gradually begun to assert herself more today. For some reason, I think she just got in a rhythm early and and wasn't. Um, bashful, if you will, wasn't bashful about taking shots, but those shots have been there and I've been encouraging her to, to look for them. You know, people kind of scout you and they, you know, she's a pass first type of player, but she's way better than that. You know, she, she has such great ability and, and I think our job is to help her mature into someone who recognizes that when people don't respect your your ability to score the basketball that you, you take advantage of those opportunities without forcing it without getting selfish you just seize the things that are right there and, and they were uh, they were not guarding her very closely and Julie was assertive today uh, I think Kelsey Mitchell did a great job during that stretch late in the game when she just got up and started guarding as as aggressively as she could and she created some turnovers so you know that has not been something that's uh, been a strong point for us all year, but today we were a little more aggressive and I think it showed, you know, how badly we wanted to win. So, um, you know, it was good for us. I think it's a good confidence builder in that sense. And finally, what's the message to the team over these last two games? Just to keep playing as a team. You know, this is, this is the type of game that you can at least take uh, satisfaction of the, of the, uh, out of the fact that we played the way the way we wanted to play, we weren't perfect. Um, you know, I think the early turnovers set us back a little bit, and then then we took care of that. So you know, we're learning, we're getting better. And each time out, you know, we want to represent Indiana and the Fever and the you know Pace for Sports and Entertainment by playing good basketball. And today we played good basketball. That's what we want to do every time. So we've got two more games. You know, next up is New York. You know, we want to play with the same intensity, the same uh, teamwork and effort and heart that we played today. And we'll live with the result. Uh, ben Rosoff. Yeah, Coach, just pertaining to Julie, um, as someone who's shouldered so much of the load this season in terms of passing, uh, scoring, minutes, how have you particularly have you seen her mature over the course of the year? And how tough do you think she's been taking this recent stretch personally? How tough what? Last you, how tough do you think she's been taking this recent stretch of, of losses personally? And I'm not going to speak for Julie, but 
uh, as far as her maturity, I think she's grown in her game immensely. Uh, she came ready to play. Uh, she stepped in and kind of seamlessly just became a leader of this team on the floor. Uh, she's done a magnificent job at point guard for us, and I think she's gotten better through, you know, just learning the style here in the United States. That's, that's something that was a, a concern for her. Quite frankly, she wasn't real sure about, you know, what to expect. And I just tried to reassure her that, that she was ready for this moment and ready for this next step in her career. And she has not disappointed me one bit. I like the fact that in the last, uh, you know, last handful of games, she's been more assertive offensively and been looking for her shots. And uh, she just, she, like you said, she handles a lot of the responsibility out there, you know, calling plays, you know, keeping people together, uh, making decisions. And uh, she's done re a really great job. Kelsey, uh, to be able to battle back the way you guys did today, uh, down 20 points at, at, at one point, um, to show that fight, I mean, was there anything said at halftime that really allowed you guys to come out there and just, again, uh, really uh, close down the deficit and be in the game uh, throughout the second half? Honestly, uh, no. It was just, I was trying to get back to the defensive scheme, so we supposed to be working on what we practiced. Um, and I think everything else after that was just everybody individually taking it upon itself um, to dig deep. And I think collectively um, came together, and that's what made us uh, make a big push in that second half. And is it a little frustrating to see the highs that you guys show? I mean, obviously against like the Seattles and the run you guys made today that the highs can be so high, but then to, to again, to have the lows where you have to find yourself coming back and, you know, having to rally late in games, uh, game after game. It's tough. It's tough. Um, it's like you shoot yourself in the foot sometimes. I know I do personally, um, individually as a player and as a team, we sometimes do that. Um, I think, I think over time, I just hope that we can get it. Um, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Um, we're really good when we can kind of just get things going the way we want individually. Um, and then collectively, we can just piece it together on so many levels. So I think over time, we'll get it. Ben Rosoff, anything for Kelsey? Yeah, Kelsey, uh, I believe you guys uh, were eliminated from the playoffs officially with the loss. Today. Just obviously, you guys all come to the bubble game accomplishing that goal, just kind of how disappointing is that? And how do you guys kind of just stay motivated for the last two games? It's tough. Um, I know for me, I'm a competitor and I hate to lose. I'm pretty sure everyone feels the same one on our team. Um, so, I mean, let's, like I always say this, we lace up like everybody else. And um, we know we in one of the toughest leagues um, there is. So um, it's a hard pill to swallow. Um, I think it's tough because uh, you take a million steps forward and you, you hope that you can take a million more. But uh, sometimes it just don't work that way. Um, I think uh, I think all we can do at this point um, is get our chemistry uh, going for the next for the next year and uh, individually just keep working. And I believe this is the first game in a while when you guys when you kind of had your rhythm going while a bunch of your teammates were also connecting on efficiently. Just how nice was it to kind of have your rhythm going while also um, seeing that manifest itself? It's amazing. Um, I know for me, I'm a player. I'm an up tempo player. So my rhythm's gonna come. Sometimes it's gonna come. Sometimes it's gonna go. It's on me to make sure that I'm in the game and doing what I need to do to make sure that everybody is um, looking at me and knowing that I'm doing what's asked of me. Um, so I think to have us all on one one accord today was amazing. And I think you're going to see that a lot more in the future. Yes, uh, Julie, um, just what's it say about the team that you guys are able to, you know, battle back or uh, after, you know, getting into such a large deficit that you guys uh, cut the lead down to two and were able to you know, be in the game, uh, late in the game, and obviously in such a very important game for you guys. Yeah, I mean, the thing again is that we didn't start well the game, and then second half we finally react uh, out of the locker room. Um, but it's, it's really hard now um, to have that kind of loss because you came back in the game, you feel that you can have this game, especially at the end of the of the fourth quarter, and then. Um, you know, it's all about details, and and again, that's why, that's why. I mean, it's really hard. It's really hard because uh, I think that if we, if today we played for 40 minutes and not only 20, uh, we could win this game for sure. And no, it's just like this. Uh, you know, the coach was was asking to play game after game to try to win every every game when it's possible. Today we lost, so it's really hard, especially when you know that you gave. You get you gave all that you have. Like 
I know that today the team made the effort, especially in the second half, and that's just that's just tough to to lose like this. And how frustrating is again? You talked about not playing a full game, but when you know when you have these highs, such highs like you know that you guys showed against Seattle, and then obviously in the second half today. Is it is does that make it even more frustrating? No, know, knowing what you guys are capable of, and again, how you guys have struggled to put together that complete game. Yeah, it's really frustrating because it just means that we are capable to do this, to win every game, and it's just that sometimes we're missing, we're missing something, and yeah, it's really it's really frustrating when you when you see what we we can do on the court, what we can do together, what we can do. Like the second half was really a great team effort, and. That's just hard when you cannot do that for 40 minutes and for every game. But I mean, we need now we can watch uh, the second half. We can watch what was great, what we did well, and what we have to keep working on, and what we have to do the same next games. Uh, ben, anything for Julie? Yeah, Julie, uh, six threes for you. Just uh, quite an accomplishment. But how have you seen kind of your just your comfort level with? not only shooting in the WNBA, but the league in general grow over the course of the year? I mean, you know, it's just a game. And when you can shoot the ball, you just shoot the ball. I think that um, when you're a player, uh, you need to be able to, to shoot the ball. And today was in most of the time. So when it's like this, you just have to, to keep shooting. Um, but, you know, it just depends on so many things. But today, was my night, but unfortunately we didn't have the last. So, you know, it's good to make trees. It's good to make six trees, but it doesn't matter when you don't have the win.